Hey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the live stream. We're going to check out the new Legion update. Well, it's like Hollowborn Legion type deal. A little bit of both. What's up, Fire? How you doing? I've been following since 2017. Hey, thanks for being around for so long. Hey, welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we are checking out what's new with the update. It's not out yet, but there is a new Legion token cap, so we can do a bit of that. Until the actual update hits, because they upped the Legion token cap from 25,000 to 50, so they doubled it. That happened like yesterday, that happened pretty recently. Um, so we're going to probably need a lot of Legion tokens for whatever they're releasing. I don't see why they would up the cap if they weren't also going to up the requirements for those tokens. So we better get grinding. Uh, there is double legion tokens from quests right now as well. Uh, I think the boost lasting for about seven days. That's good. Got some music here. What does LT mean? Lieutenant. Good morning. Should have increased it to 100k. <laughs> well, they have to put caps on them so people don't have like too many pre farmed. Makes sense. Because if they release new content and everyone already has it pre farmed, it's just kind of. You're going to have all your. Uh... You're going to run into this weird situation where you have all your. Long time players, dedicated players, complaining there isn't a lot of content because they already farmed the content. And so when you release new stuff, they've already completed it. So you have to put those artificial caps in there to fix a problem that isn't a problem, but players will think is a problem if you don't have those artificial limits in there. It's like part of game design. All right, right Paragon, which is weird because I, I don't know why they're lifting the limit, but eh, I'll take it. Fifty K limits a lot better than a twenty K one for the player. Make sure you guys click like on the stream. Appreciate y'all tuning in. What room is the best one to farm in here? Isn't it... This one over here, right? Been a, been a second since I farmed some Legion tokens. I don't even know how many I have. I think I have like a few thousand. Like I don't. I think I used all my tokens on something recently. Did you get the new Paragon? Uh, well, there's a returning Paragon from December or whenever that came out. That one's returning this week, and that one will be in the Underworld merch shop. And then there's the new one, uh, the Paragon Plate or whatever it's called. I don't know. Uh, the one that lay posts on Twitter. That one, we don't know. They're, he posted an altar on Twitter. So, that could be part of it. Maybe you gotta farm the altar. Right, buy the altar and then farm it off the altar after you buy the altar. I don't know. Last time an altar was released in the game, it was a treasure chest item. And or later on, they made it available for 5,000 ACs. If you didn't want to get out of the treasure chest, which you should get out of the treasure chest, by the way, it's a lot cheaper that way, but some people buy it for 5k AC. You used to be able to sell it after you bought it for 5k AC as well, so it kind of made sense to do that and sell it back. But you can't do that. I don't think you can do that anymore with the altar now. 
we'll see what they do. Sorry, sorry I'm caught or hiccuping a little bit. Just quickly ate a sandwich, maybe a little too fast. Maybe a little too quick. They also increased the cap on bone dust and dark tokens, the 10k. Oh, so they did a lot of stuff. The, they they upped a lot of stuff. Uh, bone dust cap's nice, I guess. I don't think that insinuates that we're getting new bone dust farms. I think maybe they were just looking at legion tokens. They're like, well, if we're increasing this, maybe we can increase some other things at the same time. Yeah, but uh, you, you are right, though. They probably do have future, future farms planned for bone dust, I'd imagine. Which bone dust is like a similar... Boring farm, same as tokens. It's a similar to Legion token type farm. Doesn't require a pet for bone dust at least, so that's good. Good change up. Imagine the farm needs all 50k? I would imagine it does. <laughs> I would imagine that would be the case. Well, I said on Twitter the altar isn't featured or rare. Oh, he did? Yeah, I didn't see what he wrote about it. That's good. Yeah, it's probably farming stuff. It's probably like the, um... What am I thinking? The, uh, you know, remember that, um, that rock that grew in your house? As you turn in the quest for ravenous enhancement? You remember that from two months ago? It might be like that. Why is my hair... My hair. I need a haircut again. Also, my camera's like. Got that forehead game. Wait, why is my camera like. That's better. Alright. See my whole head. How I played Dragon Saga? I played the first one. It was terrible. I absolutely did not enjoy it at all. Huh. I played a mage or whatever in that game. There's like a couple different roles you can pick from, and they're not the new one that came out. The I played the one from 2000, whatever, uh, eight or whenever it came out, <laughs> twelve. I, I don't know whatever year that game came out. But um, yeah, that game was terribly boring. Like un. Believably boring. The combat was awful. <laughs> None of the dialogue was any good. The world was uninteresting. Like everything about that game was just terrible. I saw the second one came out. Um, it looks kind of like the first one. Very much so. Even though over a decade has passed, it still looks very similar to the first one. From what I've seen. I don't know. I watched a little bit of someone play. I watched someone play for like an hour and it. Didn't look that hot to me. That and, uh... They did the classic, there's no microtransactions in the review copy, but as soon as we release it, now there's microtransactions. That strategy that game developers love. So, that's fun. That's crispy. You'll love to see that. Oh, 1,000. Yeah, bright paragon, by the way. We just gotta do that uh, 49 more times, and we'll be at the cap. Dragon's Dogma 1 had no fast travel, and your character runs out of breath and stamina after 10 steps. Yeah, like, you cast, like, two spells, and your character's out of stamina. And your character goes like this, so it goes... <gasps> And you can't move your character, and you can't move. Meanwhile, there's like a fucking like giant troll like stumbling toward, like sprinting towards you. Your character's like, I just use my mana. Like they're just like dying, and then you're like, <laughs> it's so stupid. And every fight you get into it just turns into like, um, it's like you're playing Warzone. You're just like revive simulator your teammates. It's it's fucking awful. It doesn't matter how much like grinding or gear you get. That, that game's yeah. I did, I did not like Dragon's Dogma. I think people that like that game like legitimately have not played better games. 
like I see people like that game. It has like a positive reviews on Steam, Dragon's Dogma 1. I think those people, like the legitimately people that like that game have not played better games. Like that game that game is like a solid six at most. The average Pokemon game has better like world building, lore, combat. I'm kinda of talking like DS Pokemon games. Dialogue. For a 3D RPG game that was released on the uh released on a console, that game is fucking awful. Feels like I'm playing like a mobile game. Oh, did my heel go off? How'd I die? Like I've played mobile games legitimately that have like way more interesting stories. Like gacha games. <clears throat> Is Hollowborn Paragon back? Uh, it will be back tonight, yes. When the update hits. And there's the new one coming out tonight as well. The one in the thumbnail. The gamer was only tolerable playing as a strider since it was fun climbing big monsters at a dodge roll. Yeah, my character could not be climbing monsters. I had a ranged... Fireball spell that was basically my only way of doing damage with the class I picked. There's no way I was climbing onto a monster and doing a ranged fireball spell on the monster. It was made by the guy that created Devil May Cry? Really? Jesus. Could have fooled me on that one. That one may cry has like so much, uh, like I've never played it, but just looking at gameplay, it, it looks like it has so much character to it. And Dragon's Dogma had like negative character. Like the opposite of whatever character is. Playing Mage and Sorceress early on, where you do not understand its strength, is asking for boring gameplay. Yeah, I don't know how you how you design an RPG game and then you make the mage boring. Yeah, that's uh, it seems like bad game design, and not. You can say that's a skill issue or whatever, but it seems like horrible game design if you make a mage boring. How do you make a person that can cast spells boring? They're literally magic. How, how do you make that boring? How do you make it like that? It, what? Like the combat was legitimately worse than like MMOs that have tab target combat. It was terrible. Like a shitty WoW knockoff has better combat than Dragon's Dogma. On G, when is update dropping? <laughs> it'll be soon, it'll be soon. The cow escort mission? Yes. One of the first missions in the game is a cow escort mission. I quit shortly after that. I played for about three hours. Um, Cause there, I thought there'd be a cool quest after that maybe cause they make you go through a boring cow escort mission. So I thought, okay, it's surely after the boring ass cow escort mission, where you quite literally escort a cow for about an hour. It must have been about an hour. It was maybe like half an hour, but it was a good period of time. You're walking next to a cow. It's, yeah, anyway. That's one of those, the opening missions for that game. That game, it was like, yeah, I don't know. That was one of the worst RPG games I've ever played. 
That was so, it was so terrible. Anyone who's ever told you Dragon's Dogma is a good game, lied to your face. They did. They lied. Like, go play it. It's horrible. <laughs> so bad. Hey, what's up, Denonic Emesis? How you doing? Yo, thanks for the tier 3, man. Yo, very, very much appreciated. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the support on the channel, man. Corey, why are you so early? I'm not early. This is the same time I start my stream every week. 4 p.m. PST. The update normally comes out within about an hour after I start my stream. Sometimes sooner, sometimes it'll come out before I start, sometimes a little after, sometimes right when I start. It's roughly when the update comes out for uh, AQ every Friday. I take Monster Hunter all day. Good morning. Yeah, Monster Hunter looks way more enjoyable. Demonic Nemesis became a member. Thank you for that, Nemesis. Appreciate that, man. It's early for Australia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for anyone in Australia. Just came back, lost my VHL account. Any good ways to level? Uh, the level guide I have on my channel is up to date still. The bad thing about Monster Hunter is that you need a rare item called Friends. Yeah, sadly. When they make the multiplayer game to need other players. Sad times. You're talking about Dragon Dogma 1 or 2? Or sometimes buying 2. I'm talking about 1. I haven't played 2. I probably won't play 2. Based on my experience with 1. If it's like the same dev team that made 2. There's not a chance I'm playing 2. I don't know if it's the same dev team making too, because it's been a decade since the first game came out, but it's probably a completely different dev team making it, but still, like, uh, yeah, there's nothing about that world interests me at all, like the lore. Like, uh, for example, you start playing Elder Scrolls, right? There's immediately something that's interesting about that world, like immediately, like, you'll be done with the, like, the tutorial dungeon and you're like, there's something cool about this, there's something interesting. About it. There is nothing interesting about the Dragon's Dogma. Don't play Dragon's Dogma 2. It has dog water performance on a 4090. I heard it was CPU uh, bottleneck, not GPU. Like a... Kind of like how Starfield was. Even the strongest CPUs are struggling to get 60. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's an issue. Got a 4080 and I'm yet to get below 60. I hear the, uh, the FPS hits when you get into the cities. I don't know if you got there yet, but... Apparently the cities are really bad for FPS. That's where most people are like benchmarking it. Oh, when you turn in. I don't know how much time you're spending in the cities for it to matter, but like if you're getting 60 FPS in a city and 100 FPS in, when you're normally in a dungeon, that, that'd be fine, I guess. But if like a lot of combat and stuff happening in the city and a lot of quests, then that'd be pretty bad. I don't know. I haven't played the game. Don't plan on it. If it's any good, I'll... Well, okay, people are probably going to say it's good, and then I'm going to go play it 10 years from now when it's $6, like I did with the first one. It's going to be awful, but... <laughs> but, um... Yeah, if it's any good, I'll pick it up on sale 10 years from now. And then be disappointed by it again. What's my take on Infinity? Um... Silly that they're doing it. 
but hey. I've always said that. I think it's really silly that they're trying to completely remake AQ Worlds. <laughs> Even Artix himself has said that it would be better for them to just make a new game. Easier for them. But hey, I don't know. If they're doing it, I'm, I'll go on the ride with them, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Is Archimage better than Legion Rev? Yes. And Archimage is the best farming class, like multi-target class in the game. For mob farming. Uh, Legion Revenant, it has uh, group boost, like boost for the party, so that that has beneficial for multi-target farming in like a boss fight, for example. Like if a boss has like adds, then you'd, you'd want LR over Archmage, of course. But when you're just farming low HP mobs, like what I'm doing here, Archmage is better. Well, they're about the same for this room, to be honest. Like, well, no, Archmage um, attacks faster, so yeah, it's better. But you get by with whatever you got. So like it matters that much, that much, but if you got it, you might as well use it, right? Is only YouTube chat you're looking at or Twitch chat too? No, I look at both, man. I replied to your I replied to your comment on my on the affinity take. No, Master Moglins is not taught here. It's like it's B tier. At best now. Maybe even lower because how slow it is. Mom is pretty uh, terrible these days, Mr. Moglins. What got me into AQ? I probably saw, uh, I don't know how exactly I found it, but it was probably a banner ad, eh? Like on a Flash game website. I played a lot of Flash games. <laughs> An absolute, I probably, I probably played most Flash, <laughs> not most, but there's, there's billions of Flash games, well, not billions, but there's like thousands upon thousands of Flash games, but I played a good deal of them. Well, a good deal of them, like up to like 2011 or 10 or something. You can turn it during combat? I know you can, it's just... Um, well, I know I can, but I never remember that I can because I'm just so used to how the game used to be. It's just habit. <laughs> That's hard to break. I don't know. It's my favorite. What was my favorite item as a kid in this game? Uh, I like the white war warlock from the uh, suggestion shop. That like beanie hat. I don't know that beanie hat in the suggestion shop. I rock that a lot. Um. I always won the jug items, like, uh, anytime you saw anyone with the, uh, God, well, I can't think of the name of them. Ungali Reavers. I always thought those were so cool. <laughs> uh, Phoenix Blade, I always like Phoenix Blade. Did I play Armor Mayhem Flash game? I wouldn't know it by name, but if I look it up, I might. Is that like a tank game? Armor Mayhem. Yeah, I played that. Yeah, I played all like all the Flash games. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sky equips on God Leaves. And God Leaves are sick. Did they buff Legion Pal? Yeah, Legion Pal is really good. It's very good, actually. New update ain't good. It's not out yet, man. Suddenly. Just want to send love. Love your content. I've been looking at your videos for ages. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, Legion Pal is good now, and the shirts you can't buy, so. Sad times. But yeah, I really like Legion Pal. Great class, though. It's like my go-to boss farming class at the moment. I remember when I thought Star Swords are cool. Yeah, Star Swords aren't that bad. I never like, I was never crazy about them, but I always thought they were like decent. At this point, they've made like 10 billion of them, so. Oversaturate a little bit. <laughs> or a lot, a bit. We are cooking tokens, man. Thousands of them. I prefer Necrono because the aesthetics. I like the farm with us. Yeah, aesthetics definitely are a good DPS in this game. I kill them with my style. Is Necrono worth buying counter for? Uh, from what I hear, no. I don't have it, personally, but it seems like the common consensus is that it's just like overly complicated to use. How do you get that pet? Uh, you bought it with ACs in the feature shop when it was released like 10 years ago, or you item donate it. Time machine or item donate. Flip a coin. <laughs> when is everything dropping? I know you can't possibly know, but it's still worth a try. Might even type that in the shit. <laughs> Self aware chatter. And then in the Twitch chat, I also have when is the Holoborn Dage thing coming out? Th thanks, guys. Yeah, great. These are great questions that I definitely have the answers for. Legion Arena or Fotia for Legion Farm? You want to use a Paragon pet? If you don't have a Paragon pet, watch my video that I uploaded this week. And then get a Paragon pet. There's a free one right now. You can get. Get that. Farm. If you have access to Bright Paragon, that is by far the best way of doing it. Bright Paragon is probably the reason why they don't release any new Paragon pets. If you want, if you, if we're being real, they released one that was so good that they couldn't really release a better one or one that's on par, so they just stopped releasing them. Which is kind of sad, but hey. They should honestly just reskin Bright Paragon and just sell it over and over again. That'd be great. Yo, Demo Demonic! Demonic Nemesis super chatted ten dollars. Yeah, thanks, man. Ten dollars from Demonic Nemesis. 
been a fan for a while, you may not know this, but I was the one who suggested Mystic Witchcaster as an Iota so glad you choose it. Did I choose that? Mystic Witchcaster. Oh, is that the one with the potion bottles on it? Yeah, it's a cool armor. Yeah, thanks for the 10, man. Much appreciated. Oh, he did, yeah. yeah. That's a good armor. I should recolor that armor. That armor looks sick, like red. Yeah, this armor. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, thank you, man. W armor suggestion. <laughs> no, let me throw it on right now. There we go. I kind of wish the blue one it was CC. Like the potion bottles and stuff. So that kind of knocks it off. But it, it matches pretty well with a lot of stuff. You can find a lot of blue items. Drop a turn in. 1,000. Oh, I love that. <laughs> just, it's just nice to see 1,000 tokens pop up on the screen at once. Pretty OP. Seven minutes. We got server shut down. Server shut down. Ever try to be a mod? No, I don't want to be a mod. I do not want to be a mod. Update's early today. Yeah, it is actually pretty early. I thought we were going to get the 50k illusion tokens before the update came out. It wasn't even an hour after I started streaming before the update was coming out, so. Pretty nice. They did Deja's birthday dirty. The only thing good in the new update is the Hollowborn update. Yep. Can't disagree with that. True statement. Ever spoken with the creator of AQW before? Um, like Artix? I've talked to Artix once, yes. Like a long time ago. I was on the phone, or not the phone, I was on a, dis a phone, on a Discord call with uh, Alina not too long ago. It was very quick. It was a very quick Discord call. It was like, bing, bang, boom, done. Like, it was like maybe 10 minutes at most. That was uh, right before I got my uh, cape in game. Yeah, that's how I spell my name, right? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. My keyboard is... Okay, yes. Jesus Christ. That cape. <laughs> you would think they talk to you more. I mean, they don't really have much to talk to me about. What would they, what would they talk to me about? Uh, they did the Void Vigilante armor dirty with the Legion recolor. The OG design classic was supposed to refer to the color scheme of the Void Dragons. Oh yeah, as usually recolors go, they're not... Usually there's an intentional reason an armor is colored the way it is. Recolor it. Why do you not want to be a mod? Uh, modding is work, not... A privilege. It's, uh, it's very much a... A job. Why would I want a job in a video game? Rooster Teeth is shutting down. A hey, should use this opportunity to do a Ruby collab. <laughs> I I think they're shut. I don't think they're working on any collabs if they're shutting down. That uh, boat might have sailed out of the port.
New Paragon quest in design notes. Pog. I'll take the bait. Oh, I don't want to be spoiled on 10k chest. Okay, I'm scrolling past 10k chest stuff. Uh, it's a bunch of spoilers on the, the Xanos. Yeah, the Xanos are updated though. I'll check them out in game. I'd rather get my reaction in game. I, uh, I saw, saw a few things. Might be some shop items we buy today. Right Paragon OP for real? Yeah, it's very good. We got two minutes to server restarts. We don't, we don't need to look at Xanos yet. We'll look at them after. We will look at Xenos, we'll do it after. I want to get a good uh, good look at the stuff in game first. AQ Sugar Creators access to stuff in advance. Uh, stuff doesn't come out in advance usually. It used to, back when they were more prepared. <laughs> What I think about paint saws, I think the original is good. The recolors have kind of failed to capture what the original had. Original paint saw is really cool though. Point farming, we got less than a minute. We got a good, uh, hey, Nami, what's up? Got a good bit of farming done there. Has anything ever been taken on the game for legal reasons? Um, they changed an armor because it was, uh, because the artist that made it, like, stole the, uh, the look of it. Like, it was a complete copy of, like, a character design. Like, one for one. So they changed an armor. It was an AC armor that looked pretty good that people already bought, and it was full color custom, and they changed it because of that. Rip, I, I own that armor. Um, I don't know. I don't remember the name of it, but that happened. But I don't think that's because like the artists that own the art contact them or anything. I think it was just because they want to change it, you know, to not yoink someone's artwork. Alright, check out the new 10k and then we'll check out the update and all that. I'll record this for YouTube for anyone watching live. Uh, so the people that uh, don't want stream can check it out as well. See, it's like 40 minutes in the stream, so I don't know how many people are going to check this. Go in the VOD and watch it. Anyway, starting recording for YouTube now. 3, 2, 1. Hey, how's it going? We're checking out the last final update for the 10k chest. Uh, this should be decent, hopefully. It's the last one. Wasn't worth it for the first two weeks, definitely. So let's see if the third week makes it more valuable. I don't know. I already bought stuff out of the 10k chest, so I'm probably not buying it no matter what. But anyway, this might push it over the edge for some people, I would imagine. So maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what they add. Uh, let's do Arbors first, since that's usually the most interesting additions to the 10k. Uh, and we look at the actual shop. I've got a question of why I look at the actual shop. It's nice to see the prices. Uh, so this is a color custom rare underworld stealth ops armor. I actually want to see what the colors on this look like. So it's holding uh, the rifle there in the armor. That's pretty bad. Hopefully there's a version that isn't doing that. So base color does nothing. Trim color does nothing. Accessory. Okay, so we get an accessory CC on this one. 
and that is it. I'll leave that on like pink there. So not too bad, not too bad of an armor. Hopefully there's the version with the arm down as well. The Hollowborn Paragon returns to the shop. So I thought this was only going to return as a farmable, but it looks like it's also going to be in two different 10k chests. One armor, 2000 ACs, two chests. Interesting strategy for that. Uh, Hollowborn Raven, I think this is new for this week as well. It looks like it's a Hollowborn week this week. Uh, you know, Lay is basically there. Yeah. Like, basically, the only artist that actually works on the game, unlike uh, Dage. So, get more Lay art in the Legion chest than the Dage art. But anyway. Any other armors added this week? Oh, okay, so it's another... Okay, good. Okay, so it's another one. We're holding it down. And then unarmed. Okay. Yeah, it's not a bad armor. I'll probably pick this up. It's a cool look to it. I kind of wish it wasn't all black. Like, uh, I kind of wish there was other versions of it. Maybe they'll make recolored versions of this armor in the future with, like, tan vests and, like, green clothing and like normal looks to them or maybe like a full CC one of those would be nice or something but right, it looks for, like for this chest we're getting this version of this armor I think it was always designed to be a legion thing or whatever but anyway let's check out the weapons oh monolith sword that wasn't there last week I would remember because it looks pretty gotta keep okay I gotta get my pet out of here I keep clicking on him and closing this door Yeah, so cool looking sword there. 100k gold. It's a good price. Free. You'll love to see. Hollowborn. Little tiny guy. Bigger guy. Longer guy. Alright, so you got a few different Hollowborn options for weapons as well. Those will be eye color custom. <gasps> a cookery! Yo, that's sick. That's one of my favorite melee weapons. <laughs> that's a pickup from me. That's that's cool. I want to get one of these in real life. Those are those are sick. All right. Uh, ba boom. Arm blades. Those are the other weeks as well. Oh, duels. If you have membership, you can get duels for the grave star. That's that's cool. Those look nice. I like those. Duels for these as well. C tag, nice. Oh, duels for the longer ones. Okay. A lantern. I like it. The uh, hollow board items always have decent lighting effects on them. I can get dual kukri. Those are. Nice. Should I remember ship to pick that up? <laughs> you can be like Arnold and uh, Akimbo assault rifles if you'd like. Singular variant of it as well. I'll probably pick that one up. Too bad. Well, whip. I wonder if it... Uh, Actually, I have to see the gun animation on it. I will check that out later. Probably not in this video, though. Alright, we already did the armors. Helmets. So, yeah, these are returning as well, which is nice. What's chat saying? What a disappointing collection chest. Monolith Sword was dope. Spec Ops armor carried the chest. Yes, I, I agree. Raven helmet. Yeah, the Raven helmet looks kind of cool with the armor. <laughs> uh, it looks like um, a Tarkov character with a pistilli mask. All right. That's a reference like three people will get anyway, but cool hood. I like the Raven hood as well. That's probably a buy for me, actually. It looks pretty nice. 
That's pretty nice too for a hood with a helmet under it. Yeah, I'm actually I'm liking a good amount of the additions they added today. Like it's good weapons, the new spec ops guy is pretty cool. Like I got some helmets for that as well. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of neck. <laughs> It looks like the mask is like too small or something like usually when you have like rebreathers on the rebreather usually goes way down like covers most of your neck like this is this looks really weird. That looks very very odd. That does not look normal. Also the the neck like the the flak the flak uh vest thing doesn't doesn't I guess it's made for male characters. Anyway. Guess I can pass on those. Paragon Cape returns to the shop. It's not new, but if you missed it last time you get another chance at getting that, I guess. Oh no, my capes are on. It's kind of cool. Where were we? Suck on these men. <laughs> um. Oh okay, yeah, backpack. That's kind of cool. Little rifle attached to your backpack. Probably pick that up as well. I'll probably pick up most of the uh, stealth ops set to be honest. It looks pretty nice. Hopefully they do different different color variation of it as well. Would uh, definitely buy that if they did. All right, a few pets. Hollowborn Paragon Bank Buddy. A quest pet. What is that? Time for some spring cleaning. It's an actual new leash token farming pet. Yo. They actually did it. Oh, it's got the wait, is this the same as the is this a, is this a copy of you know what? No, it is. Wait, is it a copy of? So this is the same quest, right? It's just a different pet that gives you the same. Why? Why? It's not a new quest. It's the same as a free one you get for 2000 tokens. Why? Why not make a new quest? I'm... Okay, I was excited for like half a second. Okay, this pet's back. Or not back, but there. It wasn't there last week. Like, it should have been... Oh, it's a little drone, too, for the... the yeah, Stealth Ops one. So... They added a new quest pet, but they didn't add a new quest. Like, I get not wanting to make a more powerful quest, but why not make something that's similar in speed and uh, effectiveness as the farming one you can get for free for 2,000 tokens, but maybe put it in a different map? Maybe have it, like, slightly different, you know? Like, a slightly different area, maybe just for a change. I'm sure someone would buy it just for a change of scenery. I am sure someone would buy it just so they could farm on a different map for a change. Even if it was the same effectiveness, it'd be like, eh, whatever, 2000 ACs, sure, I'll buy it for just so I can farm on maybe a, a better looking map or maybe a... They would have done that if they just moved the quest somewhere else. But it's the same quest, so you have no reason to buy this at all. There's no reason for any player to buy this because there's a completely free 
version of it that's in the shop right now, and it's a rare pet, right? Like, it's not... Like the... Oh. Okay, I just clicked the wrong thing. It's, a. Uh, it's rare, right? Yeah, it's rare. So it's not even like, oh, you can buy it all year round. So if you're not playing, if you're not, if it's not March currently and you can't get the seasonal pet, you can buy it now instead. You can pay money instead if you don't want to wait. But no, it's it's a it's a rare pet with the same quest. That is so lazy. That is beyond lazy. That is insanely lazy. Whole. Oh, uh, all right. That's very disappointing and sad. Okay. All right. All right. So that's the rare shop. Uh, as far as oh, the a circle. That's new. I don't know my ground is turned on, but you can imagine what that looks like on the ground. So that's the final update for the shop here. Now I don't know if I would. I, I wouldn't buy this though, right? I would buy individuals out of this. My final verdict is buy the individual items you like and call it a day on this one. I would not buy the whole 10k shebang for this chest. I think uh, the third week helped it a lot uh, overall uh, because the first two weeks were really bland. Uh, I think the third week, out of if you're just taking the items out of individual weeks, I think the third week was probably the best out of the three. But uh, even then, I I don't I don't see I don't see this making sense to buy. Ninety percent of these armors look pretty uninspiring to me, like pretty whatever. And uh, yeah, so that is my verdict on the chest. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Did you pick it up? Did you not? Did you like any individual in any of the individual items out of it? Get those, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next one. Bye-bye. Alright, done recording for that. What are they thinking? Why? I want to make videos and stuff on the... Ugh! Every... Okay. Back in the day, back in my day, they used to release new Legion token pets every year for Dave's birthday, and you can make videos on them, and it was, like, fun to see if the, the new... It was fun to like compare the new pet to the old pets and see if it was like better farming and stuff. And it, it was cool thing. Like it was just cool, like new content in the game. Just adding a pet to the shop with a silly quest was like actually new things to do in the game. Why can't they do it? They like they can't. They're just are they incapable. It's so sad. It's just sad. It is so they when they even when they add a new pet, they don't add a new pet. It's so bad. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's uh let's not. What was added uh content wise? Where do we go? Oh yeah, let me buy the uh, spec ops set out of the shop. I actually like that one. I call it spec ops yet, yeah, stealth ops. My bad. Should I get the ones where they're like holding? <laughs> they're running out. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that too. Uh, I don't want the one where he's like holding the gun up. All right, do I? Nah, I don't want the one. Uh, wasn't there an actual weapon for it? Yeah, 350. I'll pick up that. No new class, no new pet. Pull the chest anyway, so I don't regret to use an IODA. To be honest, I'd rather use an IOD <laughs> buy it with ACs. <laughs> I get all these IODAs for free. Not free, but you know, you get the IODAs when you buy ACs, there's like nothing to spend them on anyway. Yo, my character kinda looks cool with this armor and this hairstyle. Yo, I got the beret too. The beret would look good.
Maybe I will get the other one. Maybe I should have bought the chest just for these armors. 3,000 ACs on armors. But that's like the only armor I bought out of this chest, so it still doesn't add up to 10. Think about that. That's about it. I think that's the only things I've bought those three armors and the gun for 350. Are there any weapons I want that aren't? Um, I got the single. Yeah, I got this already. I bought that, right? Yeah. Sounds cool. I like that. I don't want the single of that. I want the dual of that, but I think the dual of that is member, no? I think it is. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, yes or no on these? I, I'm i thinking yes. What do you guys think? Do you guys like these? I mean, it looks weird with this armor because I'm holding the thing, but... These are all right. It's fire. <laughs> okay. Nah? I'm like kind of 50 on them right now. They're kind of cool. But, but, if I was going to equip a Legion Sword, it would be Undead Edge of Z, and not this. <laughs> so, so, like, uh, it's cheap. Yeah, they aren't too, they aren't too pricey. Yeah, we might as well pick them up. Why not? I got the gun. Oh yeah, I wanted to get the backpack. Uh, I, are there any helmets? Oh yeah, there was uh, some of the Raven Hoods this week were cool. Yeah, like this is cool. I like this. This one's cool too. I like that one. I actually like that one too. I'm going to buy that. See, I can spend, spend, spend on the shop, and it's still on equal 10k. <laughs> you can buy, I can buy every single item that I want out of here, and it's not gonna, it's not even gonna equal five probably. Even buying three thousand AC armors, it's still not even gonna equal five. Um. I think there was a yeah, the backpack. 150. Oh, that's definitely worth getting. That's cool. Got the little, little gun with the bag. This is a cool bag. I kinda wish I had just the bag too available. I spent another 150 on just the bag to be honest. This uh this helmet armor actually looks kinda sick together, no? <laughs> So you're some kind of just kind of like, like, <laughs> like spec ops mage type guy. <laughs> All right. I think that's about it. Flame. That flame looks. Sure, uh, I'm not really that big on it, but it might go cool with some sets. I don't know. Might find a purpose for it in the future. Drone. Okay, if this was a combat, okay, honestly, for this price, if it was a combat pet and, and just had like a little laser animation shot, would buy. I think by itself. 
It's not a combat pet, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't see using that as a... I don't really use visual pets that often. Anyway. Alright, yeah. So I probably bought about like 5,000 ACs worth of stuff. Probably less than that. Out of the whole chest. Weapons were... 350, 600 for weapons. About 3,000 for armors. Yeah, it was, yeah. Bare, bare, like, under 5k AC. <laughs> of course. First thing I see is a, a furry with a gun. Alright. Oh, fox. Fox twink with a gun. Alright. Of course. <laughs> Alright, let's make a set with the new uh, spec ops thing and then the or stealth ops or whatever it's called. And then let's, uh, let's go check out the new event. No, this gun doesn't match. This one is held better. This better have the actual fire animation on it, or I'm gonna be sad. I will make a tweet if it doesn't. Wait, it wasn't called Backpack? What was it called? What was that new uh, cape I bought called? Would have swore it was a backpack. It said backpack in the name of it. Oh, tactical gear. Okay. There we go. I mean, this probably look better if I actually put on the beret, but I kind of like the mask. It's from the new shop, so okay. The backpack really doesn't. The backpack doesn't really work that well with it. Also, what's with all the white? I look like a goddamn stormtrooper with all this like light cringe on here. I don't like that. It looks. It doesn't look too bad zoomed in, but it looks pretty bad zoomed out. You can't even see the other color. I don't like that. Oh yeah, guys, let's get all dressed up in all black and let's put some, <laughs> let's put some lights on our, on our gun. But we gotta make sure that we're wearing bright lights as well, that's, that's important. Anyway. RGB Gamer Soldier, yeah. No! <laughs> My outfit! Do I have to like re log again or. No, wait, what? Why is that my outfit? It is equipped. Do I need to like relog? I kind of like that cape helmet. Whatever. The pay CC does not make it worth money. New quest in Underworld for Legion Tokens. Is there? What's the quest? I see everyone saying they go to Hollow Deep, but I'm kind of interested in this Underworld token quest. Yeah, Transmog is a bit buggy.
Are you talking about these ones? Because these were these aren't new. Those were from last week. I mean, they're new, I guess, but relatively. But are there any other new quests? Yeah, yeah, they came out. I made a video about. Them. I made a video about them. You don't watch my videos, huh? Fake fan, man. Fake fan. Are you? You might have watched the video when it was first uploaded because people left comments about the new quest and I took it down and re-uploaded it. So maybe you're maybe you're an actual fan that watched the video before it got re-uploaded. Anyway, <laughs> why is my phone making a notification sound? Have you guys heard? Uh, no, my phone makes doesn't make that sound. My brother has his fucking phone cranked to two thousand here. It, that goddamn notification sound. All right, um, Hollow Deep, right? How then, Doom Knight, Lich King? Is Lich King the new one? It is. That's new, right? Yo, that's kind of cool. It's eye color. Wait, is it eye color custom? Watch it. It is. No. <laughs> Since it's Legion, let's go with like a blue. <sighs> Sad. Altar. Does the altar have a quest on it? Are we just supposed to do the farm to figure out? Holy lag, Batman. So you can have this and then you can have dual wheel collides. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the clads have to be off the altar, right? Because the, there's just like these Soul Eater blades here. So there's probably another quest to get the actual clad off the altar. I would imagine that's why that's there. 10k tokens! <laughs> Soul Essence, Lich King Fragments, I don't know what those are, but... Yeah, we can do these. Doesn't seem too bad. It might be bad, I don't know. <laughs> they don't seem too bad. These might be horrible quests. Oh wait, you need exalted crowns. Jesus. Aren't those from the Revenant farm? Aren't these what you get for killing Dage? Yikes. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> These items are not worth doing that. I'll do the first few quests, though. Wait, this little cute guy. Ray, Racer in there, too. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's just, that's not worth at all. Wait, you need Undead Champion? Wait, isn't that the armor one sells? <laughs> Wait, I'm not buying that armor to do the quest. Oh, that's 50k? Okay, it's a gold one? Okay, 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 okay. I was gonna say, I'm not, I'm not buying that shit back. Hell no, you can keep your quest. Honestly, Undead Warrior, best armor out of that whole, uh, that whole bunch. 
<laughs> and I'm not wearing that. But it's it's probably the best one out of all of these. So I got some coffee. Audio? No, I just yelled at my brother for having his phone notifications turned on to like 20. I like that little, uh, whatever that is, animation. Little soul animation, what that's supposed to be. I want this altar, but I, I don't want <laughs> just as a house item. Like I don't really even care about the collab. Uh, to be honest, like it it, it looks all right. I I don't think it looks like like amazing. It, it looks nice. It's, it's I wouldn't equip it, <laughs> but um, I kind of just want this as a house item. But yeah, I'm not doing exalted crowns. That's like and Reese. Yeah, I am not doing those. For that, for that, for a house item. Kate's cool too. But yeah, I'm I'm happy it's in the game. I'm sure people will enjoy farming it. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm sure people are happy they have something to do in the game. Uh, we'll do a few of these quests. Because, uh, you know, maybe you need some of this stuff for future stuff. But then, whatever. Is there any actual, like, update today? Or is it just this? Yeah, that, that house I don't have the quest for a sword, yeah. Well, I'm saying that without knowing, but it, yeah, it's... If it didn't, that'd be really stupid. Do it for content. It's not good content. If you want to see me, like... The content would be me doing this. Hey, uh, yo, what do you think? I think we're going to finish farming this, though. You know, it's been three three hours and we're still doing this quest and that's <laughs> Oh oh yeah we're we're still farming for uh I don't I don't know how that's content but Hey but Amarantha gains viewers when she's sleeping on stream so who knows <laughs> but you know that's probably for other reasons and not not y'all better not have your hands in your pants watching my stream that's all I'm saying <laughs> alright uh, is there any other content added today I only need one hand when I'm playing with Archmage. Are there items in the Underworld merge? Really? I was just there and I didn't even look. Lay never fails to impress. Yeah, I think it's good items added from Lay this week. Oh, yeah, I disagree on that one. Oh. Cool. We should probably get... No, it's rare. It's not... I was going to say we... <laughs> okay, I'm an idiot for even thinking that. Never mind. I was going to say, we should probably farm for this because this might be used in a future farm, but it's a rare item, so they wouldn't use it in a future farm, but anyway. Anyway. Hey, anyway, we can still farm for it. Can you get the cape and stuff for free? I might farm for the cape. For that one.
Okay, so yeah, some of the, uh... Yeah, he's really cheap. The Hollow of Souls are going to take longer than the tokens by a long shot because of the, uh, the double tokens right now. It's going to be night and day. Dude, this helmet looks so clean. Holy hell. <laughs> this looks so nice. Holy. Okay, yeah, so you can get all of the, uh, the green version of the, uh, is, is this stuff new? Or Lord. Wait, there's a backpack without the, uh, without the thing, the gun on it. Why isn't there a shop version of that? Wait, do you, th oh, do you think they're going to make it like a daily drop or something? Like a rare drop, like a like a. That might be why it's not in the shop. Could be. I'm okay with that. I'll make a video about it. Fit. Uh, fit is. Hopefully. Should we go in this cave? This cave's kind of cool. I think Warlord's been there before. Yeah, I'm not honored. I, I don't know. I, I don't look at the merge shop too often. I might have already farmed. I might have already farmed this. Uh, let me look it up in my bank. I have a lot of Paragon Capes, it would seem. Oh, that one's sick. But not this one. These are easy to get. We just need to get the, uh... Hollow Souls. If I remember correctly, those aren't too complicated to get either. But they, I think they take longer to get than tokens. Yeah, okay, so that's been cleaning. It's not rare, I would imagine, right? This this one's not rare? Oh, it's rare! <laughs> Why?! This is more farming than... Th th did they make the other one cost like 10,000 tokens too? Uh, what's the map? Future War Days, right? Nope. So this is the same pet that you can get for 10,000 legion tokens and a bunch of hollow souls but this one costs 2,000 tokens so it's a lot easier to farm but I mean I guess you could get this one and then go get the other one so your farming pet looks honestly this one looks cooler I mean that's not the personal preference but this one's pretty cool looking I mean, I, I can see why people like the other one, though, but... Anyway, um...
interesting. I'll probably make a dedicated video just on the pet and how much I hate that that's a thing. I that that will be a video I make this week. That's I will make a video on how much I just hate that that pet exists. Anyway, because <laughs> God damn, what are we doing? Weapon Cory and Merge. Check Legion Shop, Corey. You guys are all telling me to missing something cool here. Legion Shop. Weapon. Okay, I'm guessing you meant the merch shop. Someone said Legion Shop, so. Hey, Kokiri! It's got that weird green tint to it. Cool. It's not rare as well, which is nice. So you always get that. Duels as well. Oh, you need the Dark Ops Cold Steel. Isn't that the rare one? Oh, no, no, it's not. Get the green gun. Yeah, I don't like this green look, but I guess it's better than having to use an item to donate. <gasps> Did they update Legion Castle? Probably not, eh? That thing costs a boatload of resources and has no use at all. Why is there an arcane paragon NPC in the underworld entrance? Oh, you don't have that there because you don't have the Archon arcane paragon. Skill issue. It's for owners of the Arcane Paragon. <laughs> it's a subtle flex every time you join the map. Noobs without it don't know. I bought like every Paragon pet that's in this game. <laughs> I forget I even have them sometimes. So this week's uh, update is just the hardcore farm, right? There's no quests or boss drops or or shops, or... It's just, it's just that, huh? <laughs> I mean, the game updates every week, so... Wait, is there actually a new weekly release? No, the barracks is the last one. Coin for the dead, it's not, it's not new. Revenant farm times two for new clad. Wait, is it the same as a Revenant farm for the new clad? It's not, right? It's a little, it's a little less, isn't it? Right? Uh, it's more, isn't it? It might be about the same. I don't know. I remember these taking a long time to get.
Those are flames that aren't even on fire. Anyway. Undead champ. Hardcore contract. Wait. Lay's hardcore contract gets consumed, right? Where do I get that? Is that like another quest? Oh yeah, the contract right here. All right, uh, only human souls from any human in Noxus Tower. Yeah, I'll do some of these quests. I'm not going to do them all chat, but we'll do some of them just to have something to do on stream today since there's nothing else added. We have to. Oh, kind of lame, but eh. <sighs> Whatever. I mean, the farming stuff's pretty cool, actually. Like, it's not. I'm not hating it. Just not a farm I want to do. Check bank. Bank. Wait, the contract goes in your bank? I doubt it. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, yeah, it does. No. Why do I even have it in my bank? <laughs> All right, we need to go to Underworld. Get Undead Champion. All right, hollow souls are just drops, right? From Shadow Realm. Drop from the Hollowborn Sentinels. Why is this guy swapping rooms? You know that's not actually faster. Like the amount of time it takes you to go back and forth, like they respawn. I guess it gives you something to do with your mouse. Where are they? Up here? No. Check your bank. You have the contract already. I already got the con. We're not doing contract. We're doing this. We're doing the quest. All souls. Right once and up once. You can go up here. Spawn. Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Oh, they're in my bank. Oh, chat was saying the Hollow Souls will be in my bank. Okay, I get it. 
Everything's in my bank today, I would say. Oh, hey, hey, look. Hey, look, we're done. <laughs> Please choose the reward. The armor, I guess. How many turn-ins? Just, just one. Thank you. I don't know what Soul Fragment is, but I will take it. Oh, you need six. Soul Fragments. So I have to turn in this quest five more times. Okay. Soul Sand. Uh, seek out Volcar and return samples of his dastardly work. Where's that? Volcar? A guy in Underworld. Okay. I don't remember there being a Volcar in Underworld. Is it Clunk? I went past him. Oh. I must be fairly new here. Three hundred bone dust. Ugh. Ugh. That's why they buffed it. That is why they buffed it. I got uh I got fifty. Hello, skeletons. I don't Are we ready to bust some dust? <laughs> Rattling bone noises. Lego skeleton destruct destroyed dot mp3. Will level 100 always be max? Yeah, they're probably not going to increase it. There's no reason to. At least we're getting a real-time count of our bone dust here with the quest.
you need to do that second quest 18 times. Oh. That's great. Quabus, are you still in my dust? <laughs> I'm kidding. Bone dust farming about to be so fun. Uh, look at my face. I'm having a lot of fun. It's just too much fun to be had here. Not botting activity. Farming the bone 333 bone dust 18 times. That is truly the activity a human would like to perform in a video game. That is not a activity that robots would do. No. No, sir. What am I firing for? A Holoborn Paragon? No. Did I finish the Fiend Shard farm? I did not, actually. I still plan on doing that, though. I, I haven't put it off completely. Hey, maybe we should do a Nolgaf kill today. I think I only needed uh, two more. And then I was bas I'm basically done. Well, not, not basically done, but... You know, there'd be no, no Roblox. I'm not touching Revenant Farm ever again. Killing Ultra Dage is going to be the method. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. As years go on, this game becomes increasingly unfun to play. They add more and more BS to it as time goes on. I'm sure some people are happy with this stuff. It's just me complaining. Some of my Steam games are on, on sale. Was it ever fun? Was it ever? Well, it certainly didn't use to take as much time as it takes now to do these farms. That was the case. It's for Hollowborn Lich Lord. Yeah, what we're doing right now is for the Lich, the new farm they added today. It might look like we're in a map from 10 years ago, but this is for the new farm. Was the new gear have a boost? Uh, don't know. It doesn't tell you when you preview items if they have boosts on them, sadly. So we can't tell if it has a boost or not, I guess. Probably could data mine that, or they might post in sign notes if it does. And for the weirdos, does it have a badge? 
This certainly should have a badge. If it doesn't, people will complain until it does. So I, I would guess that's a certainty. Complain in quotations. If every farm in this game doesn't have a badge, it needs one. Is what I gather from reading Twitter. Uh, okay, we need Dage Favor and Dark Tokens. We're done with the dust. For this one, at least. Uh, so we get the Dage Favor from Evil... Award Dage? Or just Underworld? What map is that? It's one of the Underworld maps. Which one? You need 60k tokens? You're on bonfire already? Evil War Dage? Okay. I mean, 60k tokens isn't too bad with token boost right now, to be honest. Uh, that's not even the worst part of that farm. That is not even close to the worst part. Sixty K total. If you don't have the altar already, apparently. But sixty K is not that's not crazy. It's actually pretty easy with it being boosted right now. I need to lower the costs of ACs to change your character's gender. Yeah, it's always been expensive. Well, I really like um Fault 76. They let you change it whenever. Like it's just a menu option and it opens up the character creator. Like you could be in the middle of a boss fight in Fallout 76. And you'd be like, eh, I want a different hair color. You could open the menu and just change your color your character's hair color and just go to the menu and just keep fighting. <laughs> I really like that in that game. For all the faults that game has. It's free. I wish more games had let you just swap your character around. Like, I do that when I play, like, Bethesda, like, RPGs too, right? Like, I'll be, like, halfway through a playthrough, and you know, like, Skyrim or something. I'm like, eh, my character needs, like, a different hairstyle. Just type the console command that opens up the character customizer and just start changing your hairstyle. I hear in that the new Dragon's Dogma game, you gotta pay if you wanna change your characters, uh, cause if you wanna customize your character. <laughs> they got a microtransaction for that, apparently. Two bucks. Hey, what's up, Gary? How you doing, man? Good to see ya. Hopefully you're enjoying it warming up recently. I'm loving the new, the warm weather we're getting. Holy shit, that winter is brutal. Crazy how they charge for it? Yeah. Does the Holoborn collab require... It snowed today. Did it? Oh, it's not that warm today for me, too. It was warm. It was warm for like the past week. I don't know. Maybe it got cold again. At least for me, I don't know. It's probably not bad, that bad. As, it can't be that bad as snow here in March. It's probably melting as it snows. Yeah, updates out. 
We're doing the requests right now. Is there a new hardcore farm? Yeah, it, it's definitely a hardcore farm. I forgot how bad Revenant farm was. Yeah, Revenant farm is terrible. There's a reason I haven't finished it yet. My farm is soul sucking. Actual robot gameplay. Uh, LR is not better than Archmage. Archmage is the better farming class. Must have had no games to play. <laughs> yeah, he must have been on a serious game drought. I want to farm that. Just wait for people to make a bot and you're good. I honestly would bot if I didn't wouldn't get banned, to be honest. The way they design these quests. It's pretty logical to just have a script do it for you. Cause it's definitely not made for a human. It's like the quest designers designed a task for a robot to complete. Did you see the AQ3D quest? They're insane. Oh yeah, every AQ3D quest is absolutely pants on head. Like, just... Yeah. There, yeah, there's a reason you, no one plays AQ3D in <laughs> that game. Is... Like, I'm okay, I'm down with grinds, but the grinds have to be, like, slightly reasonable. Slightly. Like, they can be kind of unreasonable, but they need to be also on the, like, there's a very fine line, you know? Arx Entertainment knows nothing of fine lines. Th that line is 10 miles in the rear view mirror, man. That, that's, that thing's, might as well be on another planet, that line. Um, Dark Tokens. I also stream on Twitch. Yeah, I'm streaming on Twitch right now. Or in my Twitch chat, too. It's not very active, but, you know, we're also on there. If you want to watch on Twitch, farm up those channel points. There's uh, unique things that you can do, like sound alerts and stuff on Twitch that you can't do on YouTube. So, if you like any of those, check them out. You can use your Prime sub on my Twitch channel. You can do whatever if you want to support. Very cool. All right. Um, where do we go for the uh, dark tokens? You want to chat now? Um, don't say here. Anyone know where dark tokens are? Sephiric War Dage? Are they drops? Quest? So. I copy this and work.
Four turnips. Oh, the turn roots. Yeah, thanks for following Twitch. Cool looking map. <coughs> There's farmers guys in turn in. Oh, yeah, I already got one. I got dark token. Oh, they're in my bank, apparently. I only have 30. Hey, thanks for something to you, too. Out. Soul Sand. Uh, it seemed pretty easy to farm, at least. Hallborn Paragon job. Yeah, it's a. Uh, the rare one returned. And uh, there's a new one you can grind in Hollow Deep as well, so double trouble on that one. If you want some of the grind in the game. I don't know if there's any stats. How's your frames not dropping? Uh, CPU. Game likes fast CPUs. Got a 13900K. When newer CPUs come out, this game will be even less laggy. Eventually, you'll be playing at the 24 FPS frame cap all the time. Uh, without current weapon enhancement, how would you use Archmage? Uh, Elysium, I think, is what people put on it. Guys, what do you put on Archmage if you don't have uh, Arc Arcanon? It's Elysium, I think, right? Yeah, that's what you use if you don't have the uh, treasure chest enhance. But treasure chest enhance was built for the the class, so you if you do have that, that's the one you want to be using. It's like basically its only purpose is Archmage, <laughs> and it's the best for it. So, but if you don't have that, then yeah, you can farm Elysium. I'm using an i7 to 11th gen laptop. I mean, the i7 11th gen would be good. It's just the laptop part of that that's bad. If you plug in your laptop, you'll probably get better performance. And if you plug it in and uh, turn your power plan on your Windows to maximum performance on your laptop with it plugged in, you that would probably be the best way to get your, uh, your frames up a bit. Uh, even then, though, it's still a laptop CPU, so... Laptops have the same kind of issues like consoles have, where they light on fire if they go too fast, so... Even if it's like the same architecture as a desktop part, it's gonna be slower. Because heat. Treasure Chest Enhanced is so confusing to use. I mean, it's basically only for Archmage. But yeah, I, I don't really understand it either. And GTSX is about to set a lot of consoles on fire. 
I really hope the GTA 6 has like a low settings mode on console. It won't, because Rocks like Rockstar really like Rockstar had a GTA 5 on the PS4 Pro running at 30 FPS. On the PS4 Pro. So it's gonna be a 30 FPS game no matter what. But yeah. No need to cope with that. But it would be nice if they if they let you play at 60. I guarantee those consoles could do it if they actually let you turn the settings down, but they're not going to. Does Arctic launcher bog down performance? <laughs> no. Do I think AQ Infinity is going to release this year? No. Like out of beta? No. We might get a version of the game that's playable without playtest times. Like there might be a a version you can hop on whenever, but it's going to be like an alpha version of the game. Actual full release of uh, AQ Infinity won't be for a few years, not longer. If they actually wait to finish the game before they uh, say it's done and they don't just arbitrarily say it's finished when it's not. Riot MMO gonna come up before? Uh, that might be that, you know, A, you might be Riot on that one considering the Riot MMO got delayed. Like yesterday, I got announced that the Riot MMO is delayed by three years at least. And they completely reworked it. You know what's the saddest gaming news? We well, maybe not sad for most people, but I was kind of looking forward. I don't know why I was, but I, I had a little bit of hope. Uh, that Bungie's new um, extraction shooter. It was announced this week that they're going to. It's going to be character based, like Overwatch, and not. It's not going to be like you make your own character, like Destiny. It's going to have like pre-made, like it's going to be like a character shooter. That makes no sense for the genre of game they're making. If it was like a Tarkov style extraction shooter, it would make no sense for it to have like Apex Legends heroes in it or whatever. That makes no sense. They gave it to Tarkov players and they hated it. I know, I know. Yeah, it had a the Destiny, the Bungie, um, the Bungie extraction shooter game. It yeah, they let some of the uh, Tarkov players play it the, under NDA, of course, and then. Uh, but yeah, but word got out that it was terrible. Like it was, it, it's not a good. It was not a good game at all. And now they're making changes to it to turn it into a hero shooter. So yeah, that that game's gonna be cooked. Like that game's gonna be absolutely dog shit. I was, I had a sliver, a slight decimal of hope. That, that might have been decent, but no. No. We got that news. We got the Riot MMO gang delayed. Yeah, a lot of a lot of not great news for video games this week. GTA had two two yeah, someone reported that GTA is getting delayed, but that report was apparently not correct. Like, someone else, like, read that actual article because, like, everyone else just read the headline. And apparently in the actual article, they had no sources for any information. And it was all just based on, like, previous information that was already known. So, in the last, like, little leak we got about GTA, it was, it was on track to be early. So. And then, like, someone just made an article that was basically just making shit up that it was getting delayed. 
I think. Today? I think that happened, like today or yesterday someone made that, so... Just one clicks, I guess. So, yeah, who knows, like... It seems more likely that... It will be... On time during that year. <laughs> It'll probably be undercooked, just like a GTA 5 was, but... Well... GTA 5 was undercooked in certain ways. It'll probably be the same as that. And I don't know, GTA 5 wasn't undercooked, but like, it'll be like, it'll probably be like, like, they, like, game devs could always use more time, of course. There, there'll probably be concessions to GTA 6 if they had an extra year or whatever, just like any game. You look at any finished game and the devs could always done more, you know? They had more time. What are you farming? Uh, we're doing the new farm. I should probably turn this in. See if I can crash my game. Can you still crash your game from doing turn ins? I guess not. What happened by now? It used to be if you spam turn in your game, which just log you out. I guess they fixed that. Imagine if New Vegas got more development time. Yeah, more than like two months. It wasn't two months, but you know. Yeah, yeah imagine if New Vegas actually got a proper dev cycle. Crazy. Proper amount of time. Like, it, it, well, imagine if it was given half the amount of time that Starfield had. Imagine. Oh yeah, Baldur's Gate, uh, Larian, Baldur's Gate 3 devs announced that they're not doing any DLC or making Baldur's Gate 4 because of Hasbro. That happened this week as well, so that's cool. I'm very interested to see what their next IP will be. Probably something original, I'd imagine. That sounds very cool. Looking forward to seeing what they do with that. They got a lot of eyes on them after doing, after how it was successful... BG3 was, so. Hopefully that's good. Hopefully they cook. Huh. Hey, thanks for the switch. some good news I guess this week or bad news I guess if you like um, uh, Dungeons and Dragons I guess <laughs> oh so you need to do this quest you need to do that a lot to do this quest you need oh you need ultimate lich king I need to do the last quest six times. I don't think I want to do that. I think we bow out here. Cool. Cool. Cool quest. I'll just do that 17 more times. People happy. Very people happy. Hey, it's Fuzzo. Hey, he's excited for Easter. Are they actually doing an Easter update this year? What day is Easter? Easter. Let's 
Sunday, March 31st. That's soon, eh? Yeah, it's next week. Is next Friday going to be an Easter update? No, right? Should be. Wait, do we have a calendar for next Friday? We don't. The calendar says unauthorized access, request denied. <laughs> so we don't know what's coming out next Friday. Hopefully it's Easter. That'd be cool. Those are usually good updates, Easter updates. It, it won't be, but... Cope. You know, for an Easter update. I know that GTA 6 dev crunch is crazy. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh yeah, hey Chubbs, yo. What's up, man? Everyone have a great day. Chubbs out. Hey, thanks for being a member for 27 months, man. Really appreciate that. Sorry, I, uh... It's a little delayed on responding there. I hate pre-made characters. Um, I think they have a place. I think pre-made characters, like, I think a character shooter can work, you know, if, like, Blizzard is making it. But, and, like, they, and, like, they, they care about the characters and stuff. But I think a lot of times people make character shooters and they don't care about the characters, no time is putting to developing backstories for these characters, like... It's, like, you're basically just... Like, the characters might as well have been created characters by the player themselves anyway, like, why... Like, they don't even... Like... It's just... Yeah, that happens way too often. Like, they're like, oh, Overwatch and Apex did it, so we can do it too, and then they try to do it, and it... it yeah, they might as well have just been blank slate characters. like a lot of attention and details and it takes so much effort but it takes more effort to make a character based like online game that works than to do one that doesn't like to actually have good characters with lore and backstory and all that stuff would take a lot more effort than just letting people like pick their own outfits and stuff and a lot of people prefer to pick their own how, how their characters look anyway so you're really like you're really pushing a boulder up a hill trying to make a character shooter there are benefits to it like people get attached to the characters and stuff right like like you'll play overwatch and you'll, you'll see you'll see people that have spent tons of money on like a single character they like right but, you know, the same thing will happen in, in games where you can build your own character, right? People get that same attachment to it. It's just a little harder to do in a, in a game where you're not making your own characters, but... Be better off if you're not going to make good ones to start with. Oh, I need to bank that. Just want to be mercy. <laughs> I guess having Holoborn, uh, Holoborn Oaf. Hairstyle works with the hollow barn armor, right? Eh? Did he quit? Yo, what's up, Quiz? Yeah, yeah, we're done the farm. I knew going into it that I wasn't going to go for it. Like, that's no thanks. 
easy pass on that one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Got the gun up, and then you got the karambit. Styling, I might steal that from you. What am I doing? Hey, Corey. You know which quests come with the new Holoborn quest pet? Yes, uh, they're the same ones that you can get for completely free for 2,000 Legion tokens in the Future War Dage map. Do not buy the new quest pet. Uh, the new quest pet is also farmable in the Underworld Legion token merch shop. Uh, it does cost 10,000 tokens if you want to farm it, but it's uh, it's free. You know, don't spend ACs on it. I will make. I'm going to make a video specifically on it. That's how much I dislike it. It's really bad. Change my hair color. Twitch ad. Where to <laughs> where to buy Dage Pet? The Dage Pet, the Underworld merch shop. But don't buy it. Get the two thousand Legion token one. That's way easier. These last two farms, you just can't, man. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not going to farm something I don't want to farm in the game. Like, if the farm's enjoyable, I'll do it, but... Oh, you just can't. Yeah, me either. I, I haven't done the last two farms they've added either. I usually farm the class every year, if that's all right. Even these class farms have been getting ridiculous, right? They've just been going way too overboard with all these farms. Maybe they'll change the pet in the future? No, they won't. Well, they might. Who knows? Arx Entertainment. No, Shogun gives a no, it's boosted right now. Ghost. It doesn't give you a hundred when the other one gets fifty, that's false. They both give a hundred right now. Cause it's two X tokens. It will give fifty after the boost is over. Cause it's exact it's the exact same as it's the same name, same rewards, same everything. It's the exact same quest. There's no difference in the quest. They don't it doesn't give more tokens. I'm too old for this shit. <sighs> Man, I don't like to say I'm too old for something, but it... I've done enough AQ farming that the the uh, the reward has to be very much worth it for me to wanna invest that time these days. I'm not just gonna chase like every uh everything they add. Just because they added it, you know? I do that in some games. Like, if Call of Duty has an event for, like, a, like a random, like, weapon skin or something, yeah, I'll grind it out. You know, it's like half a million XP or something. It's not doesn't take that long to grind. And even if it's something I, I don't really like that much, uh, I'll still do it. Just because, you know, it's whatever. But, I don't know. I feel like an AQ... They don't do that. They, they add something that has an insane amount of... There's no middle ground these days. No sex update for hell divers? Damn, I'm gonna get a refund on the game. There's a clear difference in Legion tokens. Farm after the boost is over between them.
Wait, so you're saying what I'm saying is wrong and the, there will be more tokens on the other pet, the rare pet? What indicates that to you? So you think this one will give you more tokens? Time for spring cleaning. Quest. Shogun. Look at these quests. Look at these quests. Look at these three quests. Spring cleaning. Clear path. Taking a boat trip. Now I'm going to click on my Shogun pet. Taking a boat trip. Clear path. Time for some spring cleaning. Oh look, 100 tokens. It's the exact same. It is one for one. It's copy and pasted one for one. One pet is not going to get more tokens than the other pet. There's no indication. Zero indication is going to give more. If this gave 100 by default, it would be giving 200 right now. Because <clears throat> it's doubled right now. Now that would be big. If, if it actually gave 200 per turn in, that would be the best farming pet in the game. That would be big. It does not. Am I watching, uh, I don't know, so, uh, I know what that is. Fryerin? Fryerin? Yeah. Uh, I've seen lots of clips and stuff and people talking about it, but I haven't, I haven't watched it. Freerin? Freerin. Oh, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, okay. Maybe the IE. Is that what the show is called? This is called the character's name. It could in the future after the boost is over. I'm just saying it absolutely will not. It's the exact same copy and paste from the quest. There's no chance they're changing it. If it had different quest names and different quests, it very well might but even then that'd be cope but it's there's not a chance it's the exact same they very much intentionally just copy and paste it yeah we did some of the Hol holo rhyme quests i'm not gonna go all the way and finish that because that's that's a lot of time wasted on something i don't really care about but yeah we checked it out it's pretty cool That collide better have a boost on it for how much farming you'd have to do. Because even when you get that altar yourself, they're going to farm for the collide. <laughs> the collide, the, the altar might have a, another farming quest on it that takes you another 30 hours. For all we know. Hollow Realm, not Hollow Deep. Wait, did they add stuff to Hollow Realm? Okay. My brain is lagging, I swear. I still spelled it wrong somehow. This whole realm even a map. No? Oh, it's Shadow Realm? <clears throat> Wait.
we were here the farm did they add things here the original clad for the other one i don't know probably not Is this new? What's new here? Which part read the sign notes there? What's that? Firefox is lagging. I hope Firefox gets some updates. I've been using only Firefox for the last like few months and it's all right, but but could be better. Think a chest. Teal and Clark Austin variants of Immortal Bloodletter DD Capel will be released for hero points when Deja's birthday bundle arrives later this month. New game release, Hollow Deep Expansion, Hollowborn X Legion Quest, Shadow Realm Expansion, Lovecaster Set. Okay, so that Lovecaster armor is new. Uh, Dage Birthday Gear, Monster Drops, and Merch Shopper. Wait, there, there's Monster Drops? Where? Why wouldn't you tell us where? Just hidden somewhere. <laughs> Dage Collection Chest. Yeah, where are the Monster Drops? New Dark Birthday Rewards, Dage the Evil, Boss Drops, and Slash Dage. Oh. Cool. Alright, we can do this. Wait, this isn't the Ultra Boss, right? <laughs> Five different drops there. Wait, this is the ultra boss, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. It wouldn't be the floor things. Nah, it's normal stage. Hey, if you're watching the stream, join up. Slash join days. Let's farm up some drops. Let's five drop five new drops off this off of this guy. Uh, staff server. The Hollowborn class is never coming to the game, is it? No, probably not. I mean, maybe, maybe eventually. Not anytime soon, though. Will the altar go rare? No. No, stuff that takes that long to farm just never goes rare. <laughs> Imagine you're almost done farming it and it just goes rare. You're like, I was almost done. No. Uh. 
No, you're safe to just take your time with it. It's gonna come back to this game once the Holborn class came out. It's been two years. <laughs> there were some images online of it. Yeah, it's up, gangsta. Where's the Darken class? There's Monster Hunter class, Darken class. Kotaro class. Big fan of returning player. Guys have helped me a butt ton. Glad I could get your stream. Thanks, man. Thanks for tuning in. Glad you caught a stream. I have no access to PC. Oh, yeah, yeah. The farm will still be there when you're done, and there'll still be people doing the ultra fights, so. It'll be good. Some people do the ultra bosses just for the gold, so... You should always find people in there. Hey look, we got an NSOD. Is it that easy? The Holoborn set that just released isn't that new, though. What? Oh, the one uh, Holoborn Legion set that's in the shop and stuff, that one was from December. The other one's new. The quest. The merch shop one's coming back. They needed to release it in December because the uh, the shop was trash in December. They needed something to inflate the value of it. So it got released like super early. Is there a new badge for this farm? Yeah, well, most definitely is the badge for it. Probably not in the game yet, but oh well, yeah, next week or whenever people start asking for it. There's apparently five new drops from this place. Got three so far. You're not doing Ultra? No, we're not doing the Ultra. We're getting the new drops. Hey, thanks for the fall. Is Legion Paladin any different from the original? Yeah, the Legion Paladin is a lot stronger than normal Paladin. A lot stronger. It's also rare. Can't buy it. <laughs> I mean, I got it by mistake, but I already had it. Like, I already farmed it, so. Item already in your bank. Not like, uh, not like I needed it. Hey, on this one, I'm planning on buying a third Chrono. <laughs> uh, QCM or CCM? CCM's a hockey brand, no? I got no clue, man. Do you need a third one? Third Chrono? The misses and the mistress are, aren't treating you right?
Honestly, I look up videos and just see what, which one looks more fun to use. Seven or six in Slobby? Probably six. Not that hard of a boss. What's up, Boosted? Nice. Welcome back. Your account's 13 years old. You just remembered about the game? Nice. Our accounts are about the same age. Do Lich King cape and helmet for tokens? Really? Okay, thank you. One more drop. <laughs> you have a 14 year old account, but it's a little four. I wouldn't give out that information for free. You're gonna have DMs now. I think most people who still play are adult men. There are some women that play this game as well. Like a handful. At most. Yeah, Gerbis has a drop. So new hardcore farming, yes there is. Lots of new stuff to farm this week. Yeah, you get to farm Legion Revenant quest again. Enjoy. Legion Revenant 2. Those handful of staff. I mean, I personally know a few, <laughs> a few women that play AQ. A couple, <laughs> but yeah, it's a. Uh, it's, see a lot of them. They don't. Women don't exist on the internet yet. It's like internet one hundred and one. What does the Hallborn Quest Pet do? Nothing. Waste your time. And or money. It is quite literally put into the game to waste your time and money. And that is it. That's actually a great title for the video that I'm going to make on it. Waste of time and money. <laughs> New... Legion token quest pet. Waste of time and money. Banger. Oh, we got the last drop. Okay, yeah, these drops are not worth picking up, but... Is this one new? It doesn't really match with the rest of them. Also, we got two of the, uh, I don't know if these are rare drops, but we got two of them. I 
But it said on Xenos what the drops were, right? Oh yeah, it's listed as one of the drops. Wait, there's weapons listed here. Pale face, skull bangle, single and dual. We didn't get that. Horned Legion helmet. We didn't. We didn't get that. Death Requiem axe. That's not here. Undead Dominion Corona. Yeah, we didn't get that either. Okay, so it looks like we didn't get any of the drops, except for the one helmet. This helmet's like the only new drop. Apparently, this is just items I haven't picked up before. Apparently, these aren't new, according to the sign notes. Just, just the helmet? Did we just get unlucky? Yeah, I guess we keep farming. We got like one of the five new items, apparently. Yeah, the other drops are old. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these then. I'm gonna quickly bank these. They Alvarez something? No. Oh. Avarice. That one's new. Must be pretty rare drops. I mean, this guy takes a long time to kill, too. Make sure you guys are putting on your DPS classes. Hey, eh? this, this DPS is going down pretty low. Or pretty slow. Oh, there we go. So, the new helmet's awesome already. Yeah, but I gotta make a video about the new drops anyway, so I need to collect. Is my room full? Uh, no, there's actually a slot open right now. You can see right, right there, 506. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to farm and say either way for the video, right? So do it on stream or off stream, either way. Used to seeing your shorts on new drops. They haven't made a short for new drops in a while. I usually just put them in the videos now. Not big on doing the shorts. 
I'll probably do them if it's appropriate. Like a lot of times, like on Wednesday or whatever, when I when a short would make sense to make, but like it's just the drops are like not worth even making a video about. Of no significance. The Ultimate Lich King has a cape finally. That's good. Oh, is this a new one? Yeah, this is a new one. Okay, we got three out of five. Yeah, I do got to make more shorts though for, for the YouTube channel. I think it helps people find the channel. I definitely noticed the uh, subscribers. You get lost subscribers since I kind of like slowed down on doing the shorts. The shorts I see a lot more often. I recommend it. Yeah, YouTube recommends shorts like crazy. Probably because they don't have to pay. <laughs> I don't know why they. I don't know. I don't know why they're boosting them out. Cause they make way less money than videos do. I imagine it's the same for YouTube. Maybe people watch them more or something. I don't know. Just trying to keep people on the website. Very bank that. Good for people without the best intentions, man. You know what they should do? They should do the short thing, but for video, <laughs> for actual videos. Like they should be, they should have like an, a shorts algorithm, but for actual videos. I mean, I guess that's what like the play next thing is right on YouTube, but they should like do like a UI and, and stuff for it. They should do a test. Or something like that. That'd be funny. Probably wouldn't work, but I I try it. Where it just gives you like random videos, like because shorts will do that. Like shorts will just show you like random shit. I think that'd be cool. I'd be down for that for regular YouTube videos. Like you just scroll and it's like a, a video about some like random plant in a jungle or something. Like this plant in the jungle survives off of uh, this soil nutrients that can only be found in this particular part of the world. And it's, it's also like watching a video about that sort of shit. And you, you flip next and it's like this ship crashed in this ocean at this time 3000 years ago. It's like, okay, next. It's a video of like a dog rolling around the grass or something next some random video essay about a 20 year old video game I give credit to shorts for giving me hobby ideas is your hobby throwing Bottle glass bottles down a stairway. <laughs> Is that your new hobby? The AI is still learning in a year or so. So it'd be like the TikTok one. Surprisingly, it's book binding. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got the uh, Death Rec Room Axe. It's got a cool looking axe. Or one drop off the whole handful of them. How an airplane is built. Damn, Boeing's got to watch that video. Holy. 
A guide on how to build an airplane? They need that. <laughs> They've been having some uh, QC issues recently, it seems. Taco, I had fun watching you again stream. Been years since last time I did. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Glad you came back. Yeah, I still stream every Friday. I, I'll be honest, there's some there's some weeks where I'm just like not feeling it. Yeah, but it's just not that fun, but it's a little bit. I mean, that's just how people are, I guess. Can't always be. 100%. Why does YouTube keep showing me Yuri scene shorts? Um, I don't know, brother, maybe you keep watching them. <laughs> Oh, another one. Oh, oh, another one. No, oh, I'll watch that. It knows that you just lo love watching gay anime. It's it found it figured you out, man. For me, it, it shows me so much like hip hop lore. That, um, like, that's like the most consistent thing I get in YouTube shorts for some reason. And I keep watching it. I'm like, alright, cool. Although, I think I've watched all of the content that exists on that, so it kind of stopped giving me it. Everything I see now is just repeats. Bunch of Destiny 2 builds. Fucking Twitter. Twitter thinks I like Destiny 2 for some reason. Does anyone else have that on Twitter? That's just me. I don't. I don't care at all about Destiny. At all. I don't even follow anyone that covers Destiny content. I don't, I don't interact with Destiny posts. I don't, I don't know anything about the game Destiny. It keeps, and every time I go out of my way to click, like not interested on it and stuff. Like I'm like, get out of my feed. Like I, it keeps giving me Destiny 2 fucking, it's like, check out this cool clip I hit on Destiny PVP or whatever. It's like, oh, this new Destiny gun, it's broken. It's like, I don't give two fucks Twitter. Holy shit. Twitter has actually got the worst algorithm on the planet. Really thinks I like Destiny. We don't have the same Twitter. I'm glad you don't have the fucking constant Destiny spam posts that my Twitter is. Could be a lot worse. I guess. Song sampling breakdowns? Oh yeah, you ever see the Soulja Boy uh, speedruns? The crank that speedruns where people go into, um, what is it? what's that software called? Something Studio? They speedrun, making uh, the, the backtrack to um, that one Soulja Boy song. That's a whole speedrunning community. It's not Twitter, it's X now. X is going to give it to you. What? My Twitter has been in a bunch of Dragon's Dogma 2 reviews. Looks promising for sure. Yeah, I definitely didn't go on a 10 minute rant earlier about how bad Dragon's Dogma is. That definitely didn't happen earlier in the stream. I love Dragon's Dogma. It's a great game. I 
I mean, my Twitter today when I woke up and checked it was a bunch of like people spamming about the microtransactions in the second game. Which is fair enough. But dev is stupid enough to put microtransactions in a single player RPG. And then you have the idiots, of course, who are like, but it's Capcom, guys. Capcom puts microtransactions in all of their games. Guys, it's not that bad. You don't even need to buy the microtransactions, guys. Mm. <laughs> you, get, you, get the, you, get, you, get, you get a little mix of those. Those people. It all started when the Elder Scrolls of Oblivion sold horse armor. Thanks for this stuff. You know the reason that was, um... You know the reason Oblivion had so much DLC is because Microsoft pushed them to make the DLC. They, they were just planning on doing the story ones, and then Microsoft was like... Hey... Hey, you know we got this new thing with the with the Xbox with the Microsoft points and all that, and you gotta, hey, you know you could you could tell things. <laughs> I think I own the horse armor now. I didn't buy it, but I think I got it for free when I got when they gave out Oblivion at some point. Is that a Corona cape or am I seeing things? No, it's a Corona cape. Is this a new job? Or is that an old one? Let me check my. Oh, that's new. Okay, we got all the new drops from this guy. Nice. Grab a screenshot of that. Alright, so if you're watching the stream, new drops from this guy. Cape, axe, helmet, duels, helmet. Don't think I'd go on my way to farm any of this, but it's there if you want it. The axe is alright. <sighs> Looks like it's awesome rarity. Thanks for helping farm on that one. All right, we got other places. We got other farms to do, so let's see. Uh, Gerberus in Dage Fortress has a single drop a staff. All right, let's go grab that. That might be rare. I don't know. Should I get internal aversionist if I have Legion Revenant? No. Did she get over forcing Legion gear to be blue? Skirbus in the middle? Oh, it is. Can we join for farm? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can if it's... Oh, if there's a slot. Oh, the slot's just all filled up. But if someone leaves, you can. You're welcome to. Why is it so hard for me to bring myself to farm 4,500 Legion tokens? 4,500 Legion tokens will take you like five minutes to farm with the double tokens right now. Okay, maybe not five minutes, but probably take like 15 minutes to farm right now. Where do 
4,500 Legion tokens is... I can't really snap, but... Very snappy. Hey, what's up, Smake? How you doing, man? How's she going? Are you enjoying the spring? I also remember when they charged for mods on Skyrim. You know they updated Skyrim again. They're, they they had they're selling even more mods now, right? And they're they're terrible. They they started like a mod creation program where like you know how where they were selling mods before, but it was like only like uh, select people, and you had to like uh, they had to like basically like hire you as like a contractor or like the way AE hires artists, and they were only releasing like those people. Like those certain modders mods and they got very famous and good modders to make those mods for um the ones that were selling in the creation uh, i don't know what it was called but it was called creation club and fallout 4 uh like they they had like the very the best of the best like modders making those mods like i know all the names of the modders that make them uh anyway but now they're just letting anyone make mods and upload them but but the mods cannot have any dependencies that aren't uh like you're not allowed to sell any mods that have any dependencies that aren't the mod itself so if it requires a script extender can't sell it if it require if it requires like some kind of framework that isn't part of that mod it can't sell it which i'll like almost like if you ever modded like skyrim or whatever whenever you install a mod it ha it'll have like a list of required mods and the list is usually like at least like two or three mods right you cannot sell a single mod like that. So you can't really make a mod that's worth installing to sell, but they're trying to sell mods. The same thing happened with the, the original Creation Club, right? Like none of the mods were allowed to have any dependencies because I, I think they have to work on like the PlayStation 4 or something, some bullshit like that. Who cares? But um, Yeah, so they basically like just shot them in the kneecaps. Like, like any modder that wants to actually make like a really high budget, like really good, like decent mod, they can't do it because it can only use like the vanilla assets of the game, and like it's really bad. Well, not the vanilla assets of the game, but like, for example, if you want to add like an animation, like every single animation for Fallout Four weapons require a framework. Uh, well, they don't require a framework, but all, almost all of them use a framework that would be a, a second mod. So none. So if you made a weapon mod for Fallout 4, it would be worse than every other free weapon mod that's already available because it wouldn't be allowed to use that framework. So you'd be selling an inferior product even if you wanted to make a better one to sell. You couldn't. Like it's actually brain dead. New staff? What did I just pick up? Wasn't it BR? Ugh. B O U. Okay, yeah, I'm dumb. Okay, awesome, Rarity. Looks kind of cool, I guess, but. Are we selling CBPE? <laughs> Imagine mods with those script extender. Yeah, right? Like, you couldn't use any mods. Like, most mods that get uploaded that do anything for the game, like, need script extender. I'm really surprised Starfield didn't come shipped with, like, the equivalent of a script extender built into the base game. I'm very surprised that Bethesda didn't do that. That You know they did the opposite for um for starfield right in fallout 4 they ex they expanded upon the they made they made modding easier in fallout 4 over skyrim like they um can't remember exactly what it was but it was like something about like the address library or something they like extended it they they made it easier for starfield they reversed that they took it back they they made it harder to mod I think it's even harder than Skyrim. <clears throat> Bethesda. A great company that knows what they're doing, I'm sure. 
They're not shooting themselves in the foot constantly. For no reason. <laughs> Starfield still has very simple mods. Uh, well, that's because the creation kit isn't out for Starfield yet. Well, that and that no one cares about Starfield to make any mods. That's a big thing. Like, Fallout 4 had a bunch of really cool mods coming up before the uh, creation kit was out. But, um, yeah. There won't be a script extender until creation kit comes out for Starfield. And there... Um, and yeah, and it's just worse in general. But yeah, the big reason is the creation kit, but... It's also the bigger reason is that no one cares enough to make mods. Like you have to have people that care about the game to want to make mods for it. So that'll never happen because no one cares about Starfield, like zero people. So you'll never have those people spending their free time making mods for a game they don't care about. Okay, I think that's all the drops and stuff listed on the side notes. Uh, thanks for help farming, guys. Is everything? Is Bright Paragon still the best? Yeah, Bright Paragon is by far the best... Uh, best Legion token farmer in the game. The other one's pretty good, though. Like, I don't know. Change the damage range of the following weapons to static. Dual blinding light of destiny. Oh, uh, you're up on the screen. Uh. Dual blinding light of destiny. Ultimate blinding light of destiny. Obsidian light of destiny. Hollow born shadow of faith. Dual hollow born shadow of faith. Void light. Sorry. Okay, you get it. Change damage range of the following weapons to unstable. Ascended Light of Destiny. Added Soul Sand as a reward to extra uh, to daily exercise five and six. Okay, so if you're looking for Soul Sand, you can get two for doing uh, the Dage Lord. If you guys are farming Soul Sand for the new farm, uh, on exercise five and six for the daily exercises they added, they had Soul Sand so. Make sure you peek those if you're doing the uh, new farming. Eh? Oh, they added a beast teleport button uh, to Virgil in Seven Circles War as well. So that's good. I love I love when maps have teleport buttons to the boss. Don't make you make you run through like ten hour trek through the whole map. Good good update good update. Very nice. Yeah, I'm just looking on Twitter right now. I saw that. I was looking on Twitter for updates. You know, there's a ghost ball clava in the game. That does anyone have that? I kind of want to see what it looks like with the new uh, armor. I don't have it. I think I thought about even donating it, but W YouTube has renewed their sponsorship with the OBS project. That's cool. I, I, I like. That's really cool that websites are. Sponsoring OBS. OBS is great. So I'm using a stream right now. OBS is insanely good. I'm glad we're getting paid.
Stop posting food on Twitter. Oh yeah, Overwatch PvE is fully cancelled now. RIP. They were never gonna do anything that, that cool with it anyway, but... Kinda sucks. They need to do something cool, like a TV show or something with Overwatch that tells more of the story of it. Or a movie or something. It's a really cool universe that they... Like, have no content for, other than like a few comics. Happy Gilmore 2 will be made for Netflix. Okay. Have you gotten Saturday's daily gifts yet? From Saturday last week, Alina? What are you talking about? Corey, oil up for 100k. Oh. I'll oil up for 100k if we had 100k in a month. <laughs> what are you guys typing? What in the hell are you guys typing? I remember when rep classes were good enough, you could pick which one you like the most. Good times, that was like peak, peak balance for the game to be honest. That was life, it's going alright. <laughs> When's the inevitable keyboard building stream? Never, I'm never building a keyboard. I'm not going to lie to you, taking apart the whole, like, doing a full engine swap in a car seems like more fun than building a keyboard. I'd rather learn how to do that from scratch than build a keyboard. Takes two hours with Shogun Pet for 25k. Maybe less. It'll be less with the double 2x. Oh, oh, uh, Lay confirmed on Twitter that the Holoborn Calablogs are. I never know how to say that. Calablog. Bog. Calablogs. I don't know. Calads are um, in the altar. The reward for the last Hallborn quest. If you, for some reason, need confirmation on that. Actually, solving global warming is more fun than farming NSOD. LS swap a Civic or build a keyboard? If I had an LS to swap into a Civic, I would do that. That'd be pretty fun. Also, isn't the L isn't LS? That is way too big of an engine for a Civic. <laughs> um, I mean, if we're talking about the same LS. We probably are. Corey, the FOMO, the FOMO, Corey. The FOMO of what? Building a keyboard? Wait, you have FOMO from building keyboards? Brother, you are cooked. If you have FOMO from keyboard building, you are you are beyond cooked. Someone needs to pull you out of the oven, man. I 
I will drag you into the rabbit hole. How is that even a rabbit hole? Like, I can get one, like, oh, look, there's these uh, clear keycaps that look like the Game Boy uh, clear plastic. Oh, that's so cool. Let me get those and put those on my keyboard. Or there's these cool switches. Let me swap the switches out for these really nice feeling switches. But once you do it once, like, you got a keyboard. What do you, what do you need? Three keyboards? Six consoles! Bunch of fucking wires. Cat cam. Satellite. I don't know the full quotes, but. First look at Wizards of a Waverly Place sequel series. What? Why? One keyboard for each game. <laughs> What's this music? I've heard it somewhere before. Uh, right now, Wii Sports, Tennis. I know that without even looking at it, because I played a lot of Wii Sports, Tennis. Directed by Dan Schneider. I like how, did everyone just like figure out that Dan Schneider was a complete creep like recently? Because I remember seeing that Filthy Frank song like, uh, when did that come out? Seven years ago? I think Filthy Frank would copyright claim me. Song still up on YouTube. Yeah, seven years ago, Nickelodeon Girls. Oh, it's re uploaded. Yeah. If you guys have never heard that song, wait, Joji has it up? Or is this a fan channel? Oh, yeah, it's re uploaded. If you guys never heard the song Nickelodeon Girls. There it is in the chat. Is he in prison? I don't know. Eternal Pink Flame was named after Steph, but they changed it because she does not say for work stuff now. Yeah, Vesper. Pink Flame. Vesper's Pink Flame. Which it wasn't supposed to go rare either, and it went rare because of that. So I picked up a rare. Easy rare dub right there. Cal Ad Bulg. So I say, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a made-up word. So I think it's a made-up word. I don't know. Is it not made up? There's someone in chat that's listening to the Nickelodeon Girls song right now for the first time. I cannot play a song on stream. There's a reason it's not on Filthy Frank's YouTube channel anymore.
I think the wings kind of look nice with this. Uh, you gonna farm for the pet or buy it or not bother? Uh, not bother. Waste of time. It's quite literally, it's quite literally just a seasonal pet, but costs more. Is Legion Pet Paladin better than VHL? Yes, it is. Wait, isn't it called Pink? What's it called? Oh, Pretty Eternal Flame. Do you feel the game or is my cranium smoldering? Yeah, this, this cape was not supposed to be rare when it came out. Isn't the new Legion farming pet going rare? It is, yeah, but it's cosmetic, so. And it's a cosmetic farming pet, so it's like the worst kind of cosmetic you could possibly want that Dane. Yeah, I mean, it's not that hard to farm, so if you want to pick, pick it up, by all means, pick it up, eh? But I don't see myself ever equipping it, so it would just be a waste of time. Like, I would just put it in my bank. Imagine bright paragon quests on it. <laughs> That'd be sick. I don't think they'll ever re-release bright paragon quests. I think they, the reason they don't do new farming pets is because of how broken bright paragon was and is. I mean, who are you even showing the pet to? At the end of the day. Like, who's going to even care that you have that pet? Let's be real. Especially when it's in a 10k chest, too. Like, If it was a farmable rare that wasn't in the chest... But it's also in the chest, so anyone that item and donates that chest is going to also get it, so... Yeah. Corey, I don't know. I got no friends in AQW, but chill with the burn. <laughs> What's it meant to be a burn? Like, like even people that play AQW, who, who's gonna care? <laughs> who's gonna care if they see you with that? Like, even even if you did have friends that played AQ. <laughs> Are they gonna care? They're not. Is it is an Irish compound word? Is it? What's the translation? Wikipedia. It's a sword. Oh. Oh, it's an Irish word. That's why it's so weird. Kill the bug. The the whatever. Uh, hard blade. Oh, it means hard blade in English, I guess. Is the sword of Fergus MacRoish from the Yulster uh, cycle of Irish mythology. Fergus calls the sword of that name in time bo... Okay. Uh, do these names. Had... So this guy had stolen Fergus's sword when he caught him in flagrant with uh, a woman, I guess. 
these names. <laughs> Fergus carved a dummy wooden sword to disguise the fact he was unarmed. Uh, the person returned the sword to him in the final battle, and Fergus uh, speaks a poem over it, calling it Kaladic in one version, and Kalwag in another. It's said to have been the sword of Letty from the Elf Mounds. When one wished to strike with it, it was as big as a rainbow in the air. Prevented from using it against some other name that's like three paragraphs long. Uh, Fergus instead cuts off the top of the, of three hills. Okay, so it's just some mumbo jumbo of Irish folklore. Okay, cool. Glad I read all that. <laughs> like reading a different language. Where's Hollowborn Lovecaster? Uh, it's in the... Hollow Realm, I think? I don't know, is that the fake map someone told me? Shadow Realm. Someone told me Hollow Realm was a map for some reason. Severe, sir. Yeah, Gaelic names. Yeah. Gaelic names are something. They are something. How do you get the hollow paragon then? What? I don't know. Uh, underworld merge? I think. I think it's what you're talking about. So many things to grind, yeah. I don't really want this armor, but it's cool that it was added to the game. It's alright. You better look at it. That's kind of cool. It's not bad armor. And you could, uh, if you swap the eye color out, you could change all the orange too, right? To like pink or something to make it look better. Like the little tie. It's not bad. Am I enjoying the new farm or nah? Uh, I'm not doing the new farm. It's basically like um, farming, uh, what's it called? Legion Revenant again. And I, I haven't finished farming it the first time. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Not about to start farming Legion Revenant a second time when I haven't finished the first time, so. Gotta go, lads. Have fun. Hey, see you later, Ash. Have a good moment. Enjoy your Saturday. Just do Ultra Dage. I mean, yeah, we could do Ultra Dage, or I could just not do it. Even better. Works even more better. Well, I'm sure I'm using the default one. Check out my video on that if you're looking for like settings and stuff. I made one recently. I love ultra bosses. I can't wait to do more ultra bosses. What's that? Another LR grind? Hey, what's up? 
think we'll call it there. So thanks for tuning in. Good stream today. I very much enjoyed it. It was fun hanging out. A fun hanging out. Oh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Thanks to all the channel members, everything, everyone that supports. And uh, yeah, leave a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thanks for tuning in on Twitch as well. Appreciate y'all watching on there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you. There'll be videos up tonight, tomorrow, next day, probably on the YouTube. So look out for those. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good one. Bye bye.